Syncro allows planning engineer to track resource usage. To activate it, go to the windows and activate resource usage graph. Let's select this padding activity and let's go to the options. Make a right click, options. We would like to track selected tasks and uh, see all resources by type and let's display the material resource usage. On the data tab, let's set the presentation mode as sum and display planned utilization and actual utilization with the default colors. This will generate a histogram and curve. Open the histogram and change its data to cumulative. Let's set it a day. If you'd like to see curve, you can select any of this, but I'll select nothing to disable it. And OK. If you'd like to change the gun time scale representation, you can make a right click over the heading and uh, select edit time scale. So, for example, I would like to see the days below the weeks, so I rearrange it. And also, you can apply some text overrides, background color overrides, and so on. The blue light is our data date. You remember we can change it from project data date value. In case if you don't see hours here, go to the options and tick display time of the day. According to our calendar, we start our working day at, at 9 and finish it at 5. So if we change our data date time to 9.01, so we'll be able to update the current status of activity. Under the task properties, you can find your plant utilization along with actual utilization. So depending on this, Syncro would calculate remaining utilization along with costs as for fixed units. So assume at this time and day we have poured 40 meter cube concrete. Select the pad, our concreting, and let's say our actual water is 40 meter cubes. 13 February we managed to pour 40 meter cube. Our planning rate was 12 meter cube per day. So we're going ahead of our schedule. And in order to finish this activity on time and within its budget, it's pretty enough to pour 7.7 .7 meter cube per day. So that's how it works. And as for human resources for the concrete crew, remember that we have them as uh, not fixed units. It all is the same. So your input is actual unit, you work half more than you've planned. And you can see the actual cost, remaining cost, budgeted cost, along with the remaining units and remaining productivity. Switch the graph representation from material to human to see the histogram and add a legend show cumulative maybe along with that you can open resource usage spreadsheets under windows resource usage spreadsheet you can see the distribution of planned units but you can always change it Right click, customize fields, and say you'd like to see some actual units. Here they are. So, this is our parts 40 meter cube board. Change it to plant. You see that this number is changed to plant values. You can edit the time scale. For example, you'd like to see only dates within some margin. From January to March, and this is it. Also, you can customize columns. And lastly, if you'd like to share this table, you can simply export it to Excel. As you can guess, the same goes for a task usage spreadsheet. Here you can define your columns and time scale, make a right click and select resources to display for example, material only. These are the activities and these are the assigned resources. See the distribution per time. Same way you can copy it from here or export all the table to the Excel.
So these are our parts. 